Well, they want to drink your blood, but they're not vampires or mosquitoes, but they are kissing bugs. The University of Arizona is looking for a few good bugs and candidates who've been bitten. It's all in the name of research. Now the kissing bug is it's on the move. Dr. Norman Beatty is part of the research team at the U of A. He's at the Massey's home in northwest Tucson looking for live kissing bugs under a special ultraviolet light and a white sheet. This is one here, right? This is one right here. This is an adult female. From now until August, kissing bugs will be out. They're looking again to find a mate, to lay their eggs, and to get a blood meal. Massey and his wife are part of the wow. research. Bitten before, right, Dan? We actually both have been bitten. I got bit in my bed here in the house. Um, got it right on the side and. participating? Well, in this particular project, um, we're asking community members here in Tucson and, and in Arizona um, on the larger scale to, uh, to collect the kissing bugs that they find in and around their home. Kissing bugs? Kissing bugs and uh, also filling out some surveys involved with the bites that they um, have and the circumstances of the kissing bugs being around their home. You know, they look like kissing we'll bugs, but people oftentimes don't realize that they're not oh, kissing bugs. bugs. Um, this looks like stink bugs. Yeah. What kind of bug is That's that? That's a kissing so bug. Structure, and you find them typically at night around dusk, like oh. eight, eight to nine o'clock. They start moving around. Oh, yeah, I'll take one. Citizen so right science cool. is a new term um, in academia where um, we invite the community to be involved in um, a project or be involved in science that's being conducted um, in their region or in their town and um, you know they can be uh, a part of something big which is discovering new things and uh, we're doing that right here in Tucson. separation between its thorax and then there's a little bit of its neck and then its eyes and that cone with the proboscis. Yes. So the proboscis is like a hypodermic needle and it has a harpoon on the end. Okay. And when it harpoons into your skin, mm -hmm. it starts injecting and aesthetics and saliva. Kissing bug that Arizona that EDU. Can we have is this yeah, free literature? Sure. That's for you guys cool. to learn about kissing bugs. Sweet. Thank you. All right, guys. Have fun. There's a couple other species, but... What we want to do this summer is to recruit people who have been bitten and who have exposure to this kissing bug to learn more about the factors at which they're being exposed and the, the bite itself. There you go. Yeah. What do they do to you? They bite you. We're looking into, like, why are people being bitten? And, um, and where? Well, there's particular regions of this valley that are, you know, people are at higher risk, but people are being bitten all throughout the city. Another important factor to this research is what the kissing bug carries. It carries a parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi, and it causes a disease in humans called Chagas disease. And this disease is many times a silent process and it takes decades to manifest um, the disease and typically will attack the heart and a lot of patients who've been exposed to the kissing bug are at risk for Chagas disease and uh, some recent um, data that we've collected 
Here in Tucson, we found that 56% of the kissing bugs were positive for the parasite. So another part of this project is testing people for childhood disease. And um, that's one other reason uh, we're promoting this project, to see if Chagas disease is here in our community. Well, we're back from our trip from Cascabel. What an experience meeting a community of people who have been just bitten and infested with kissing bugs. We had them fill out our surveys and um, discovered a lot of information about how they are being exposed and why they're being exposed and who's having those allergic reactions. Uh, we couldn't believe how many kissing bugs were brought to us, just, just bags of kissing bugs. Some of them are alive inside their beds, inside their homes, uh, even even the smallest uh, nymphs. Yeah, yeah like almost true. like a yeah. bulb. Like it's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. We're testing for Chagas disease using the Chagas Detect point of care test. It takes one drop of blood in about 20 minutes, and we have had some interesting results so far. So I've been invited here to the Arizona Infectious Disease Conference in Phoenix, Arizona to discuss Chagas disease and i um, kind of excited, a little nervous, but today I'm going to be introducing the topic of some of our findings where we have discovered locally acquired cases of Chagas disease and I'm anticipating, um, you know, some pretty interesting questions and um, I've actually brought some live bugs with me, so we'll see if that, um, you know, excites the crowd. But um, the purpose of this conversation is just to, to bring up this topic of a disease that most people are unaware of. And hopefully, um, you know, we will be able to convey our message and I'll be able to teach people more about uh, the need for testing and a better understanding of Chagas disease.